Hey guys, Herbal Prepper here and today I'm going to show you a little bit more about the pine tree. Now this is one that I have uh, just, I don't like to say damaged, but I've just put a small little mark exposing the inner bark. Um, and I've done this so that it would run. Now let me come in closer and zoom out so I don't get too shaky. But I've done this so I could get some pinch or sap or resin from the tree. And if you see that, guys, that is literally running. Um, it will slowly start to run down and funnel down into this little area right there where I will, when I will come back later and collect it. Now, normally I try to uh, just look all around the tree and find some that's already dried up. But this tree is solid. It's never been damaged. It doesn't have any sickness. Uh, nothing has fallen on it to to damage the outer layer uh, and to expose the inner bark which would send the tree to a signal to go ahead and send some sap to that area and then it would dry up and then I could collect it but this tree is uh, pretty healthy pretty straight and it's uh, pretty pretty solid so I have decided to go ahead and put a small little mark there I've just taken out the the layers here of of um, outer bark and see you got a couple of those before you start to get into that nice pretty uh, inner bark. Now what I'm going to do here I'm going to set this hatchet down I'm going to show you. Now here's a piece that I have taken. Now this is this is the outer bark um, and as you can see that white looking stuff is the the new layer now each time uh, a tree completes one year it will add on a ring so that's why when people chop trees down they're able to actually calculate the uh, approximate age of a tree now these rings will change in thickness depending on how much nutrition the tree has gotten each year but uh, this tree looks like it did pretty good about the same if you can see all the other rings there. Um, each year, like I said, it'll gain another one. And what happens is during the spring and the summer times, the sap goes to running, just like you see right here. I mean, that tree will literally send sap all over, and this is how it gains a new layer. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this uh, run, and I'll come back in a few days, and I'll collect it. But meanwhile, I'm going to get a couple of these that I've already chipped off of that spot, and I'll uh, take the inner bark out and I'll put it in some recipes. That way I have some good antibacterial properties. Uh, pine tree is an amazing antibacterial. It's very strong. So guys, uh, I'll be showing you a few recipes with the pine tree. But I uh, hope this video is a blessing to you. Until next time.